If you've ever built a Power BI report, you know users tend to like their data in a table format. And with that, you tend to have a lot of tables or very wide tables answering a lot of questions for a lot of users. But there's a better way you can do this where you allow your users to make a selection so you can have different tables and they can just select the one they want to see. You don't need to have bookmarks. Uh, you don't have to have different report pages. You can just have a slicer that has pre-configured tables that allow you to make a selection and it changes the table. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do this using field parameters and then creating groups for your parameters. So the first thing that we need to do is create our field parameters that contain the columns and calculations for our different tables. So I want to create one table that looks at uh, our stores and another that looks at products. So what we need to do is go to modeling, new parameter, and then select fields. Once we do this, we can see the tables and calculations that we have. So I'm just going to bring in my store name. So this will be for my first table. And then for my other table, I'm going to bring in some product information. So let me bring in my product name. Let's maybe bring in manufacturer. And I'm going to bring in my category as well. I'm just going to bring that above manufacturer. Okay. Now we want to select our, uh, we want to select our calculations. So I might bring in net profit, orders, sales, and then let's bring in our unit sold as well. So we have our two tables. We know we want to create two tables looking at these calculations and we have the columns for those tables up here. It doesn't really matter the order. This is just an example where we bring in our columns and our calculations. So I'm going to call this table selection. And then if I select create, we can see that it will create a new table, calculated table uh, with our field parameter. And um, if we see our slicer, these are our columns. And if I go to our table selection, uh, if I bring that into columns, we can see everything we put inside that parameter is here. And if we selected our columns, we could build out our tables. But what we want to do is group these so that it becomes two separate tables, not based on a selection as it requires more effort from the users. So what we can do is if we select our parameter, we can see it has this calculation behind it. The first thing that I recommend is split your code into two tables so it's easy to work with. So I have my store name. So Above this, I'm going to hold shift enter and say this is store table. And then for our product name, this is going to be our second table. I'm going to split that there and call that store table. Now, as it is right now, we've got the same calculations in two tables. So what we need to do is copy these calculations and we need to bring that into our first table as well. Because every, um, because every um, calculation here needs to be in each table. So we need to reuse the same calculation twice. So we've now got our two tables with the same columns. What we need to do is change our order. This is an order number. What this refers to is the order of our columns. So I'm going to put this as 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And it doesn't matter. We can start this from anywhere. So as is a distinct, let's start this from 20. So 21. I'm going to go down to... So we've now ordered our two tables. So in this store table, we have these calculations and these columns. And in the table below, we have uh, these columns and these, and that's the order that we want it in. But right now we haven't grouped this and it's very simple to do so. All we do is after the order number, we're creating another column essentially. So we're going to call this a uh, store table. And then what we can do is just copy that in all of these. And then for the lower ones, we want this to be a different table. So this is not called store table, this is product table. And over here, we're going to call this product table. And what we can do is just replicate this against each of these. So I'm just going to bring this down and copy this in every single one now. Product table. So now that we've created our two groupings, we can see that it's created a new column in our field in our field parameter table. So what we need to do in our slicer, we need to bring that value, so that new column above the table selection. And now we can see based on the order that we created and, and the order of the columns 
and the two different uh, groupings, we can now select the table. So if I select product table, we have the product uh, calculations. If I select the store table, it has the store table. So you can do this with as many tables as you want. It's a really neat trick for um, tables. So hopefully that video was useful. It's a Power BI guy and I'm checking out.